Holy dooly, this is the big Simpsons and the little Simpsons area where someone has done a lot of work. So anyway, maybe because it's big rocks, big agates, is that how it works? Maybe. But anyway, I'm just looking through these pebbles here. Uh, haven't seen any agates yet, but maybe they're looking for gold. No, it's just agates in here, so I think Someone has gone through a lot of trouble of digging this out, so which means there could be big agates here. But I'm just trying to see if I can find some fragments to indicate what was found. But anyways, uh, crystals. Yes, amethyst. Pink amethyst. That one there. Is that pink amethyst? Is that rose quartz? No, I think this is just amethyst. A hint of amethyst. Okay. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Huh? They're beautiful, but we're not keeping them. So, I don't know. Are they looking for that? Can't be. So, see if we can find some agates. That's just a rock, I'm sure. But let's smash it. I'm going to put the camera away just in case I hit it. It's just a rock. Nothing in it. Look. What are they looking for? Hmm. I wonder. Okay. The boss says there's agates on the wall. Okay, there's icy ones. Look at that. <gasps> Look at that beautiful. Look. Look. Wow. Look. Yeah, with the red. So that's what they're going for in here. So I'm going to go over to where the boss... Hang on. Fragments. Lots of tiny ones. The boss says. Have a look. Okay. That's not agates. That is not agates. It's just rocks. Well, river rocks. Sorry, boss. Not agates. The agates are behind you. The big ones. Fragments over here. Hang on. See that? Okay, those are what they're getting here, which is not very nice, that one. Look, look at this one. Wow. Hey, let's go find a big piece of that. That's nice, isn't it? It's Beautiful. Like yeah, it's like Indian feather. Mm. Okay. Okay, but then white outside. And inside is beautiful pink and crystal. Crystal! Crystal agates. We are now at an area called the Green Patch. And overlooking the Green Patch is that rock. Dalian rock. Anyway, the reason why they call this the Green Patch is because you get a lot of these agates that are coated with green color. I don't really know, I'm not really sure. But anyway, so those are the green rocks and lots of green things in here. That's why they call this the green patch. And also, there's a lot of also agates. Okay, so crystal ice agates. So these are the icy ones, the crystallized ones, and another crystallized ones. And so I do a ratio of how many crystals do I see compared to banded agates. That dictates basically uh, if we are going to fossic in that area or not but what i like to do is just inspect and see again another ice see lots of icy agates so in that note again so it's mostly a lot of icy agates here i think and if i try and smash a couple i'm sure they'd be mostly icy another big one here but that's ice again so and someone had a scratch here and exposing more agates. Okay, that one is a plain white agate. Okay, I'm gonna get it wet. So it's more 
a solid chalcedony with no uh, lines but anyway like banded ones like this ones it's a bit of banding there but again that's ice ice agates again and another whole one there ice so I don't really like it I think I'm gonna go back to my spot yesterday where I was we're in I get a lot of nice solid agates okay anyway this one could it be that there's actually some green agates here with bands I don't know like this one this one's got a funny Woohoo! green agate that's actually a little bit of a hint of green but that's uh, really not an agate is that an agate can I call that an agate I'm not too sure but I think uh, that indicates like a little green color on the edges so okay I am now in this section of the green patch where in there's a good showing of the ratio of the green rocks compared to the icy agates and sort of like the banded agates so this one here is well green on the outside but inside you can see that's actually icy or quartz filled agates and you also get a lot of this orange coating on the outside but inside is also ice or crystal quartz crystals so out of this lot here there's only probably this one which might be half half showing a little bit of the band so I'm gonna smash this just to show you it's only a small one so it's okay to smash the little ones oopsie there you go so that's showing banding see so there's a tiny bit of banding of the pink and white but the rest of it so majority of it let's go check out another one okay see this one here that's only a dud which is nothing okay this one is I say I see oh yep I see there you go and so oh there's a bigger one which is also icy see you can see the glint of the iciness in that corner there so oh and then you get the agates now so so far red agate but no banding so I'd say that one would be the same red but no banding and there's also like crystals as you can see on the ground again more reds but I haven't seen okay there's one here actually with a band but it's only like a very light colored so more of the pastel the pastely shade okay so oh okay this one has got strong pinks and again I'd say more of a pink agate than the bandy agate so this again there's only like one form of banding so which is the red and the white two color separation so I prefer lots and lots and lots of lines compared to this one so again the ground here again lots of icy agates so icy agates there in the corner so the whole ground it's just all lots of icy agates of different shades and look there's a green one again coated but I'm sure that's gonna be icy one again oh this one's pretty it's got a hole in the center and look nice little hole okay maybe a little pond miniature pond or something but then the color is a bit dull for my liking so anyway we're gonna move on to the next patch and over there more small round boom I see agates 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 everywhere and oh look at that nice banded pink more there but more icy we are now in an area called the pink patch well at least the road to pink patch if you follow the signs and this is my marker point of reference is that mountain which actually we can see that on the road on the way to the campsite but anyway and here a good indicator is of course you have to hop out of the car and on the ground here so we have a car in the track still and on the ground around here is look agates I haven't touched that this is how they are on the ground so these are the pink patch and of course as the name suggests there's a lot of pink agates in this area 
And if I have to move my camera over there, again, you can see the old agates and then that one, a nice whole one, which is, look, um, also that would be pink. And look, there's a big one here, but that's only white agate. And again, through the grass here, you can see little bits and pieces of agates, even on my foot there. Agates, pink agates. And look, by the looks of things, these are actually a lot of the big ones here. So I think we are going to concentrate. Look at this. Oh, on this area, look at that. Lots of pink agates, pink agates everywhere. For those of you who likes pink, this is the place to go to look for pink agates. Okay, I don't know where to look. Oh, look, this has been washed by the weather, by the rain. And agates, agates, everywhere agates. Okay, but I'm gonna concentrate on the left-hand side where there are more agates. For the past couple of days, I have been mainly collecting bigger pieces of agates on the surface but when I get to an area like this of course I'm looking for the big ones so these ones are indicator of what the agates look like from here and that is a beautiful one look at that it's like a beautiful pink sunset in it that's a keeper so I'm going to put that in my bag and they sort of stick out on the ground uh, a lot of small ones but you can see they're all whole still but what oh look at that white one beautiful white one anyway um what i like to do is just scratch around and when i say scratch around i've already scratch around there so i've got a geo pick and i'm gonna go further in away from the road oh look even here look at that huh that's a whole one and that would be beautiful agate so just to show you what it looks like on the outside you can tell from the outside whether it's uh ice like this or colors like this and oops don't hit the camera don't hit the camera oopsie oh, they're hard they're hard to say anything so you gotta be careful eye protection there you go oh that one is see a combination of the two so you get agate lines and ice but it's still beautiful so the sun there you go that's that's still beautiful piece of agate so we're gonna leave it here to show other people who do come to this area that I'm in, what the agates look like from here. Look at that, they're pretty. Okay, oh, that pink one's nice. Okay, so, look. That's mostly like that here. That's why they call it the pink area. Okay, so, yeah, speaking of how I scratch around, so yeah, that's what I do. I take a geo pick and I just sort of rake the surface like that. And now it's revealing all these whole agates which is what I like to keep because these are the ones with the nice colors and you can see from the edge there that's already got a pink tone to it and then I am looking at these ones here so the only ones you gotta be be aware of is that or I have to be aware of is that I don't want to take too much of these icy ones so I prefer to take solid ones like this ones here with colors and lines, especially this one, that bigger one like that. So, oops, okay, but that one is fractured. They're only good for tumbling. So I leave this behind, but this also gives an indication to the other people that's gonna follow after me what uh, sort of agates are in this area. But anyways, another beautiful line agate. Look at that, hey? Look at that, beautiful. Anyway, I'll leave that there and I'll keep this too. And I'm going to explore some more. So you don't need to do that much work. You're just going to go because it's quite soft here. So raking and of course, maybe the deeper you go, the more uh, bigger pieces I'm going to find. But I'm not too keen in digging. So I'm just going to go noodle around still and sort of semi rake the surface of the areas where I can see some bigger pieces exposed.